tutorial on setting up a TeamSpeak 3 server for Mac OS X. This will show you everything from download, downloading the application to opening the firewall to configuring the server for multiple users to access with server admin creds. Um, first thing we need to do is download the TeamSpeak 3 application. So open up Safari, Chrome, Opera if you use it, Firefox, whatever your browser is. Go to TeamSpeak.com. When it loads, we go to, you want to go to Downloads, TeamSpeak 3. Uh, make sure you download the latest version. Click on Download. Click I agree. Click Submit. You'll see down here, I've actually, I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to go right to the server. Click on Show, and, uh, right to my Downloads folder. Move it. I move. I move the download over to a new to a directory that I will easily remember. Usually ends up being my desktop. Um, open up terminal after that because if you're looking here, you will not see an app that you can actually just double click on. This is the server itself. Um, just a word of warning: you will need to leave terminal up for TeamSpeak 3 to continue running. Um, so let's go to the desktop and remember tab completion is your friend if you go to if you type in CD which is change directory TE tab if there's nothing else else with the name T, with TE as a beginning tab it'll fill in um, so now if we do an LS for for show for list you see TS3 server underscore Mac is there so you want to do a dot slash TS3 and this actually starts the application. You'll see your server token is created. Um, so just copy that. Click on System Preferences and go to Security and Privacy because we may need to open the firewall. So I'm not an admin, so let me log in. Firewall options. You can always go to Block All Incoming Connections. And let's make sure we go to Desktop here. Select this and click on Add, and this adds the server as a as, as an allowed application to allow to allow incoming connections. Um, make sure you copy this. Open up Teamspeak. Remember, you're you're going to be listen, you're going to be listening on since you're connecting to your local server. You are connecting to your local host. So click on Teamspeak three. Go to connections. Click on connect. I've already done this before, so just connect. Sees that it's a new server, so we then put in our key, and there we are. We now have server admin rights. The server's limited to 32 users. If we go to TeamSpeak and scroll all the way down, you can go down here. You can follow the prompts to get a nonprofit license. Uh, continue to register. Blah 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 blah. You get the idea. Um, after that you can go tools, sorry, permissions, privilege keys, create as many privilege keys as you want, um, server group, group, server admin, description, Joe Blow, or Todd, if you have a friend named Todd, just, the description really isn't even needed. You can just create as many as you need to have spares in case you your ID gets hosed or whatever, it really doesn't matter how many you create, and the description is completely optional. So, in that case, I've just created a bunch of these, but I'm never going to use them. Um, in the back, you see that you have the, the, the terminal logs, who connects and who doesn't connect. Looks like client ID, I, it, shows you, it shows you everything you need to know. Um, Control C stops the server. You see here I'm disconnected now. And honestly, that's that's all you need to know about setting up a server. Go to the register for nonprofit and you'll have 512 slots, 10 server instances, and all that other fun stuff. But besides that, this is all you need to get it started. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to leave comments. I will do what I can to respond. Otherwise, teamspeak.com, the forums are very, very good. They've helped me a lot. Or if you're interested, I will be showing you how to create a TeamSpeak 3 server on Windows as well as on Linux. So, 
feel free to watch any of my other videos if you have questions. Linux and OS X, they're pretty similar. Only thing that's nice about Linux, and if you have an Intel uh, Mac or an Intel PC and you want to run a VM that you don't have to shut down, you don't have to leave the console up to uh, leave the server running. You just you can start the service and log out and it'll stay running, which is so much nicer. You can start it from an SSH session so you don't have to keep the server logged in and you don't you can if if you're in Australia and a, and a friend of yours texts you and says hey servers down you can log in as long as you have the ports opened you can log in and take care of it take care of it from a thousand miles away or ten thousand miles away it's honestly in my opinion a lot easier to manage than OS 10 uh, again feel free to leave comments questions and I will do what I can to respond thanks